everyone. E, there you go. <laughs> Welcome. I'm here with two visitors, two guests from Canada. And we've just finished a walking tour in Santa Teresa. How is Santa Teresa for you guys? Beautiful. It's beautiful. You guys should come, all of you. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> cool. And so they're here just waiting for the Uber to come. And I'd like to see who is there in the room. So we have MB, hello, Sheila, and Christine from California. Hi, everyone. Hi, Joy and Monica. Cynthia from where? New Hampshire? Am I saying it right? Yeah. Oh, great to see you again. Yes. We, they are going now. Bye. We'll see you. Ah, there you go. They're leaving now. I'm going to show that. Bye bye. See you later. Bye. Later, they will take the tour of the night, Carioca's night with me. They're going now, taking the, the car here, the Uber in Santa Teresa. And we are in the center of Santa Teresa now. Yes. Hi, everyone. It's a beautiful day here in Santa Teresa, a place where Tati Araujo, the tour guide also from Hego lives. She lives here in Santa Teresa. She's an artist. And uh, it's me and Dana also, tour guides here in Rio. And we offer similar and different things with our own narratives as well. So today I'll be showing you a little bit of the art district, which is kind of like uh, Alfama in Lisbon and Montmartre in Paris, in Paris, but with our unique uh, ways and looks in Rio de Janeiro. Hi, Jennifer, thanks for joining. And all of you who are already present, our tour starts in about two minutes. I've just finished a walking tour here in Santa Teresa Art District. And life in Santa Teresa usually starts in lunchtime when people will come uh, either from the hostels or other places in town. If you check the map here on the app, there is a, a map button that you can click on it and you have an idea of where we are. We are close to the sea, close to the south zone, but closer to the city center. And Santa Teresa is a huge green neighborhood that takes us all the way through places such as the Corcovado Mountain, the Juca National Forest, where I run hikes there as well. And I'm specialized in leading cultural tours and hikes in Rio. With a particular focus here on Hego for Black history, because that's a big chunk of my ancestry and research as well. Thank you all for being present. Let's take a look around. Ta -da. So already here, it's a little bit of what you're gonna find in the neighborhood of Santa Teresa Art District. We are here, which is the center of Santa Teresa, where most of the restaurants and bars are located with live music and with many intricate streets of this neighborhood, which is known traditionally for being an artistic neighborhood. And the cab drivers, they kind of go crazy with all of these undulated streets, where some of them don't know very well to how to navigate, but for us locals, it's pretty cool and we love it. And as you see here in this map, and in a bigger map showcased here, we are in this part called Santa Teresa, and all of these green areas, which leads us to Corcovado and the Tijuca Forest, which is the one of the biggest urban forests of the world, is the Tijuca National Park. The Samba Drum, close to the Centro, where I live. I live down here in Lapa neighborhood, where they this couple later will take the night tour with me. And here's the South Zone, Gloria Flamengo, Urca, where the Sugarloaf Mountain is located, Lemi and Copacabana beaches, Ipanema, Leblon, Lake Rodrigo de Freitas, and the Botanical Garden. Gavia and the Maracanã Stadium up there in the north zone. 
we are starting the Santa Teresa art tour and this is going to give you a sense of what Santa Teresa neighborhood is about an artistic neighborhood rich on street art and historic houses eu i love santa teresa and it's tram because we have a tram like in uh, san francisco and lisbon and we are very proud of that and i'm going to show you around hi deborah thanks for coming and joining me today now people are here in the city center of santa and i'm going to switch the camera to show you how beautiful the day is today a very blue sky this is not only the quality of this brand new phone that i just bought to show you the best views of the santa teresa but it's an actual blue sky of summertime in rio de janeiro where we are having during the summer now about 36 centigrade or 94 fahrenheit and it's already 4 p.m in brazil 4 p.m gmt minus three time zone and around us some historic houses where today are cool restaurants with delicious food we just had it together nice lunch and this is another restaurant where live music is going on now look at these nice cute tiny what is that? What do you think this building is for? Hi, Isabel. Hi, Isabel and Davey. For, thanks for joining this virtual tour in Santa Teresa Art District. I'm showing here a building which is a... What do you think this building is used for? Many people here love it. It's small, it's cozy, and it has some movies, and it's going on now. Cinema. Yes, Monica. Thanks for participating. Hey, Isabel. Hi, hi. It's a very nice cinema where they have also a tiny art gallery inside. There are art studios around. And I'm going to show you a little bit of the surroundings. Please feel free to ask me questions. If I don't know, I'm going to, you know, just research more easy for me. I love all, of, all about this, knowing and learning about my own culture. Oh, yes, you are. Uh, now, 4 p.m. is the time of the day when Santa Teresa starts to get really busy. Cars start to come and people start to come and gather to the live music in the bars and to the good food and caipirinhas of the amazing bartenders. And a little bit of this art. This woman is representing Maria Bonita, or a typical woman from the very dry areas of the northeast of Brazil, especially from a time when there were the cangaceiros, or the people from like Lampião and Maria Bonita being represented here from the places of Ceará and Pernambuco and the very and Paraíba. And a little bit of this bar that brings a little of the taste of the food of the northeast of Brazil. So look how neat this bar is. Decorated with bottles of drink, of cachaças and liquors. And there is forró going on now. A lot of people just left the restaurant. Having the delicious northeastern foods that they sell here. And there is a nice musician here singing cool for her. Let's check it out from closer. Oh yes, I do. And I also like to bring my mom and tourists here as well. I like the food. And they have different artists every week as well. So please let me know if you want me anytime to ask me, for example, Ana Moradeira. 
but going slowly to take a, a print or a shot for a particular composition or either to you know pass by again at a certain point and show some art slowly with the camera just let me know okay oh cool so please take your shot let's make a composition with the namoradeira because they are typical statues used in front of historic houses here hey luz and gabby thanks for joining the tour hey satia you're back r k and aunt c Lori. Welcome back. I'm here showing a print. Hey, I'm here showing an Abara data that you can take a print of. A screenshot. Hi, Allison. Thanks for joining. So the Namora data statues, the, it means like Namora data are the girls who like to have boyfriends, different boyfriends. So they stay at the windows waiting for their husband's future husband or boyfriend. So they are called the Namora Davis. Many people use them in front of their doors, their windows. Oh, yes, yes, let's, let's go. With the musicians on the back. Let me change for the light. Now I'm gonna get. Hi Esther and Belen, thanks for joining. I'm showing a little bit of the life in Santa Teresa at the time of the day when it starts to get better because of its dynamics and lively encounters with its diverse people from all over the world and all over Brazil, and also mingling, mingling with the friendly residents, which in its majority are artists or teachers from the neighborhood of Santa Teresa. Now, here you can see. Oh, Joey, that's a question. Uh-huh, look at that. Actually, yes, look, that I, I'm gonna show you this. People are really happy at this time because they have usually many beers and caipirinhas. So look at that table. It, uh... It, uh, they're really partying here. <laughs> so usually people sitting down there close to the doors. Is I've done that before. <laughs> and here many people from Spain and from other countries in South America and Latin America, they come to dance and to mingle and they're really funny, like they like to, to talk and so oh yeah. <laughs> yo, ahorita yo estoy haciendo un tour virtual. Entonces tú estás ahí apareciendo para mucha gente. Oh. Only in English? Yes. We are doing a virtual tour in Santa Teresa to show the art districts here yes, around. Yes, but now we do bailar. We show a little bit bailar. Ah, so are you enjoying dancing? Yes. Bailando? Yes. yes, yes. yes. I, and what about Santa Teresa? Are you liking Santa Teresa? We are in Santa Teresa right now. So he's just got in Santa Teresa. He's already <laughs> drinking, singing, Bye, and have, dancing. And go with the... Um, with, with a the small train. Now you can make a small stop with the tour and we buy that inside. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, so I will do, I'm going to do that. I will go, finish, and then soon I will be around. Okay? Thank you. Bye. Okay. Hey, they're asking you, where are you from? Hey, guys, where are you from? Alemania. Alemania. Cool. They're asking. Cool. Bye. They're, they're Germans. The Germans really love it here as well, and also the French, the Spanish as well. Wow. You know, Santa Teresa has a history around its immigrants around here. Many people from Switzerland and French people, Spanish and Germans, they built uh, their houses historically since the beginning of the 20th century here in the region. So they built mansions and uh, historic houses. And there is a whole history about why this neighborhood is so artistic. Cool. And so people come here 
And even locals, they have this nice mood of I want to be here and make friends and mingle. So that's something very unique and amazing from Santa Teresa, which we love as locals as well, you know. <laughs> well, I I like to take people take care of people very well. So then, uh, uh, so I mingle easily when I want, you know. So let me see uh, if there are questions here. Where they are from? Uh, okay. Yes, I've I've sat you no know, close to the door to see if I could see some beautiful, handsome people passing by. To me. Isabel said, I am ZKE Jewelry. I don't know what does that mean, Isabel, in New York City. So you're a designer of jewelry? And you love the tourmaline that comes only from Paraíba. Gorgeous. Ah, I didn't know that. Thanks for sharing this, Isabel. Hi, Katie. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for joining. We are showing a little bit of the street art of Santa Teresa. Art District here is representing Chacrinha, a famous TV presenter from a whole a show that on TV he already passed, but he was an important character leading these tours with people uh, singing, uh, and it, it was really fun. I know. I, I will tell, tell you why Jennifer and Victor, why I'm very close. So please take us uh, a postcard here from close, and I will tell you why I can't be uh, sometimes on the perfect distance. Because of that, I show you. The streets here in San Teresa are really short. They're really um, not short. They are straight, and it's uh, crossed with the railway tracks of the the cable cars all around so if i don't take care i can be crashed by a car so i need to be very aware of where i'm stepping and i can uh, come from a distance but it will be uh, from another angle okay so here this art a narrow thank you so much hola wait, wait. So here, this lady here uh, is an art with a photo collage, and it's representing some of the characters that plays the carnival here. She is a kind of a, a caric caricature, caricature of uh, a nun, and there is a very famous street party group of the Carmelitas here in Santa Teresa, which during carnival, there are thousands of people on the streets dancing together. And then they dress up like nuns because there was a convent here of the Carmelitas, the Barefoot Carmelitas is their order name. And the people say they are uh, isolated and secluded there. They can't come up and outside of the convent. And that it, it still exists, believe it or not, in the world. And it exists right here in Rio de Janeiro, close to the Bohemian neighborhoods. And so people, there is a tale that people says that during carnival, the nuns, they run away from the convent and they come disguised to play the carnivals in Santa Teresa in the Carmelitas street party group, which is really fun. So what happens is more than thousands of people, they dress up like nuns and they mingle in the, in the, the bloco or the street party group of the Carmelitas and they play and sing and dance walking around all of these streets here. So now I came from a distance to show you the art from, a, from a, another angle. I can't stay on the middle of the street, but please take your snapshot of taxis coming. Usually, oh, just one hour ago, these streets were really calm and quiet. And in one hour, it makes a whole difference of all the cars coming in. Take another snapshot, another car is coming. Yes, beautiful colors. Did you like it, this art? Now, I will show you Kojoy, thanks. Now I will show you this other 
historic building from the other side of the street so you can have an idea of beautiful buildings of the where the Pascual Carlos Magna Street is and where this restaurant is located. Then Amorabeiras on the windows. And now I will share with you uh, where the best acai is and friendly people of St. Peter's. I love my people. I really do. Now look at this beautiful building. It's a cafe and a restaurant. They have good drinks and food and different environments inside there. So the idea on the Santa Teresa virtual tour is like every time I launch it, it's gonna have a blend of a little bit of everything, such as like what Santa Teresa has of its best, artists, art studios, uh, street art, bars, restaurants, cultural centers, nice views of historic houses and so on. So uh, I'd like to know from you, how is the signal there for you? Is it okay? Is the sound good or is it pixelating? Because good, great. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for letting me know because this part is surrounded by old historic houses with very thick walls. So this can create some uh, disruptions on the transmission because of the Wi-Fi, okay? So it's important that you let me know. Now this place here is a shop where they sell uh, Brazilian cheese balls. How many of you already tasted Brazilian cheese balls? And they sell the Brazilian iced tea. Oh, thank you, Joey, for your feedback. Uh, the mate, or it's a kind of a Brazilian black uh, tea, roasted mate, yerba mate. And they sell with those Brazilian cheese balls, which are delicious. We call them the pão de queijo and people come from down there from the neighborhood where I live down here just to get the pão de queijo mate and also acai they are known for their best acai here around here this place gets crowded with like a line of people queuing to to know the acai to taste their acai but to get theirs because it doesn't have a lot of sugar, you know. Hello, Ana. Thanks for joining the tour, this virtual tour in Santa Teresa neighborhood. I'm showing a little bit of Santa Teresa and its surroundings, close to Centro and its neighborhoods around. And here's a, a map from the neighborhood done by artist Vitor Hugo Pacini, who did an interactive map here with this beautiful hand-painted tiles. So everything here is very unique. Local artists who are residents, Brazilian or people from abroad, they open their art studios here and they like to leave their mark by painting in the walls and leaving their mark here in the city. Either if they will be residents living here for a long time or if just passing by through a short period of time. So here you see some beautiful art in this decorated map of Santa Teresa. We are here in the center of Largo dos Guimarães, in this part. Today we will just see these and you see it's a plenty because when you look around, you see buildings and stuff, art. And they are like, but it's not only about what you see outside, it's about exploring, entering the spots, paying attention to the details of the gardens, the gardens surrounding, or the fauna of birds and monkeys that come by, or beautiful views of houses on the hills. And let's, what about going inside of this bar and checking a little bit of the views from there? would like me to do that because like I said this is a kind of a free walking tour in Santa Teresa and each time we won't be the same I want to show you the things that are going on at the moment where I'm doing the visit hey Perley and Anna thanks for joining 
Eu posso entrar um pouquinho e mostrar a casa? Obrigada, viu? So let's go. É casa nossa. I will show a little bit of the environment here. Olá. Boa tarde. Tudo bom? Eu sou guia de turismo. Aí eu estou mostrando um pouquinho aqui para algumas pessoas de uma sessão live, tá bom? Obrigada. Hey Hans. From Bavaria. Thanks, welcome. We are in the Santa Teresa Art District. And I'm showing now I've just entered one of the cozy, amazing restaurants in the neighborhood to share a little bit of this environment and the music and the art. This is from a very famous artist here who has his studio and his shop outside on the corner of uh, one of these streets nearby. And his name is Getulio. And Mr. Getulio, Senhor Getulio, he gets and he makes a lot of art out of uh, like garbage or uh, leftovers of wood and plastic and he creates these little creatures, animals or dolls made out of these crafts. And these uh, they purchased his work here to represent the cable car. Take their prints if you if you want. Found object art. Thank you, Jennifer, for reminding me the name of this art style. And one thing that is common here in Santa Teresa and not very common down there is these plants. They are known as avencas. Do you have those in your country? The avencas they grow on the walls and on the rocks in these places where the weather is chilled, a little bit more chilled. So even though we are having 36 centigrades around here and 40 centigrades, even though up here in Santa Teresa, it's cooler, chillier than down there. This is another reason why this place was uh, had an occupation of Germans and Swiss, as, as you said, as you saw there in the bar and restaurants, there was a group of Germans dancing and singing there. Still, they come here to enjoy the beautiful neighborhood. Now, look at this beautiful old historic house. And the live music's going on. Now, Santa Teresa is also known for its good cachaças. And here, when you enter, there is the brand Magnifica, which is from Santa Teresa. And they have here for people to try out with the Buddha there in your back so you can meditate while you drink your cachaça. And they have three conserves of cachaça with gengibre. What is gengibre? Yes, ginger. This one is written, é hoje carai. É hoje carai means it's a, um, how can I say, a slang that says, it's today, man. Like, I'm going to drink this thing, I'm going to get crazy, and that's today, man. That I, We're going to rock, you know. Hey, Susan, thanks for joining. And these are the aphrodisiac fruits. I don't know exactly what is inside there, but cachaça itself, it's aphrodisiac. It's the national spirit that makes the caipirinhas. And here they put cinnamon, clove, and fruits. And it's here, just here, free for us to taste. It's fruits, different fruits they will put there. Not cherry, because cherry is not very common here. But a little bit of this bar from inside, it has different environments and it will get more guests will come. And let's check the view of Santa Teresa from, from here. So this is some of the typical architecture that we see in Santa Teresa neighborhood. Isn't it beautiful? And it's surrounded by this lush scenery that we can walk around and keep discovering more and more of the neighborhood. Besides entering the cool art studios 
as well. Now, what would you like to see now? More art uh, on the walls or a little bit more of this restaurant and the music? You can choose. More art. Okay, the one who picked first is the one that I'm going to go for it. You were fast, Jennifer, in your typing. Great. Look, they have verandas and different gardens around here with different levels. A bar and also they are good they have good bartenders as well. Tchau, meninas. Obrigada, viu? Tchau, tchau. Valeu. Yes, more art. Good. Let's go down. Everywhere I go here, there will be art, and also there are many museums uh, and cultural centers. Uh, one day I can go on a visit to the Rowings Park, to Laurinda Santos Lobo House and Cultural Center, to the Museum of uh, Chacara do Céu, many places that I can show. Here they have a shop called Fa Favela Hype. And usually they host parties and they have trendy art and beautiful. Olá, boa tarde, meninas. And beautiful, like, fashion design, jewelry, and so on. This is a very trendy shop around here. And it, you can get a very nice snapshot, a postcard from here if you want. Okay. With beautiful people around. That's Santa Teresa. It's something that I can show from inside. Uh, there's a, such a beautiful painting there. Wow. I myself, as a tour guide, I love to discover the new arts and things that happen in the surroundings here. So it's going to be a pleasure to share with you some of this beautiful the art tour in Santa Teresa because there are short tours to give you an idea. And this series can little by little show you different spots. Like, uh, look at this beautiful art around here as well. Another chance to get another postcard. And in this street, the carnival parties, they pass by, you know. And so you can be at this restaurants and bars and suddenly groups of people pass by playing instruments, dancing, dress up. In costumes, and we had. Oh, cool, Monica! Do you live here in, in Rio now, or do your friend live here? Oh, here is an art that I can show from this distance. I'm in the middle of the street. There is no car, so now I'm gonna get closer because the car is coming. There you go. Uh, this is this artist is saying. Oh, cool, Monica. Have you been here? How many of you have been to Santa Teresa? So here is written. For mais mulheres negras em espaços de decisão. For more black women in places of decision making. So hashtag mulheres negras decidem. Black women decide. So it's a beautiful political art. Uh, people here in uh, Santa Teresa, in general, it's a neighborhood of professors, teachers, artists from Brazil, people from all over the world. You are Carioca? Ah, oh, Monica. So you, do you love it here in Santa Teresa? Nice, nice. I understand you. I've lived abroad as well. I know how much I missed up here in my place and in Santa. Very beautiful, yes. Carioca, Carioca, the plus person, people who are born in Rio de Janeiro. So here, instead of saying COVID-19, it is coward, or covarde 17, the number of the president, Jair Bolsonaro. People here, like I said, mainly professors, teachers, 
and artists are very um, uh, educated, politically engaged, and of course against, in its majority, against to our current president, Jair Bolsonaro, which is a very bad one. Uh, now, this beautiful restaurant is one of the most uh, traditional ones here. Bar do Mineiro. They have good food, good feijoadas, and good caipirinhas, a lot of art inside. So we have different things that uh, integrates the arts here. You have poets, playwriters, and uh, theater actors, painters, street artists, and collections, besides also the art museums and art collections, such as the ones that they have in this bar, which showcases rare work of arts or crafts or objects from different times in Brazil, from different regions in Brazil as well, carved on wood from famous, very famous artists and sculptures throughout the country. So you see, have you been here, Monica, to Bar do Mineiro? Você já esteve por aqui? Ah, so when you come back, oh, obrigada, viu? So when you come back, please come join me on a street art tour here in Santa Teresa. And I will be happy to show you other cool spots. Oh, and also follow the, the series of the Santa Teresa art tours. So you get to know some of the different spots that we will show. Oh, here more art studios. And look at this beautiful building. It's a geminated building, like a mansion house. And the story of Santa Teresa is where the many of the forests and the Chiruca forest was located. So uh, some plantation farms were set here in this neighborhood. And they had the majority of the water sources of the city as well. So in the 1800s, they started to build the the first tracks to bring the cable cars here. In 1861, these cable cars, they were pulled by horses and they were slowly bringing things here. Also, there was a time, are you artista? To the bone? And Nelson, né? Oi, Nelson, there's an artist, Nelson. Nelson is the friend of Tatiana Araújo também, né, Nelson? É, eu tô fazendo aqui um tour virtual, Nelson, tudo bom? Oh. Obrigada. Aí tem algumas pessoas, que inclusive tem uma... Olha lá o pessoal cumprimentando. Tem uma brasileira que está com saudade, ela não sei... Oi, Mônica, where are you? A Mônica. Aí ela falou assim que está com saudade do Rio de Janeiro e está vendo através do meu tour. <risos> que maravilha. <risos> Bem-vindos. A energia é essa. Né? É, isso aí. É. Eu e a Tati, a gente faz esse trabalho. Não, a Tati, passa aí. Ah, que bacana. Yes. E aí... Você está indo para o seu estúdio agora? Estou. Ah, legal. Bacana. So then, uh, Nelson, he has an art studio here. And sometimes Tati also takes people there to his studio. And he does like workshops. Ah, oh, nice. So, você quer, quer, posso mostrar rapidinho? Cinco minutinhos só também, que é, porque lá dentro às vezes a... Uh, O sinal falha um pouco dentro das casas históricas. But here we are, vou mostrar para o pessoal lá de fora. We are arriving at Nelson's Ateliers, uh, Atelier or Art Studio. Oh, cool, Satan, nice. So you can come here to his studio and make a workshop, an art workshop with Nelson. Amazing. So I will just show briefly for those people who hasn't seen yet, and then we will continue our walk. So here, Nelson, he customized different shirts. He lives here as well, and he teaches people how to make their art on the clothing and customize and make unique shirts to wear, you know, with the paintings that you make, he makes. And he teaches us how to do it as well. Besides all the amazing paintings that he has here, if you want to make a postcard with Nelson there, you can do it. Look at his 
beautiful art. It's a beautiful painting. Muito lindo. Yesterday. He did it yesterday, he said. Wow. I mean, a look at that painting as well. Beautiful. Now he's making another one that he's showing for us. Oops. Wow. So let's merge inside of this work of art from artist Nelson. And later I show you his Instagram so you can follow him. And if you one day you come to Santa Teresa, Yes, he has a website. He has an Instagram. Né, Nelson? Uh, Nelson. Nosso Ateliê Santa Teresa. It's Nosso Ateliê Santa Teresa. E ali fora na porta também tem, né? Se eu mostrar para o pessoal. Ah, legal. I will show you outside how do you spell it. So later you can check. So if you want to take a print here, a postcard with Nelson there on the back and his art. Essa é uma indígena, a A Mariana Gandaia? A Liam Gaia. Ah, não conheço ela. É uma indígena uh, que vai para São Paulo amanhã para fazer trabalho lá. E uh, a gente fez aqui, que é uma variação daquele. Nossa, maravilhoso. That's gorgeous work. Look at these paintings. That woman. Like an angel, né? Como um anjo. So he said it represented the first woman before Eva. He created her, that woman. Beautiful. Oh, amazing. Does he have cards to take a picture of? What is that, Jennifer? I don't know what card to take a picture of is. Card. Does he have a card to take? Ah, okay. Yes, I will ask. Uh, Nelson, estão perguntando se você tem é, um cartãozinho com o seu contato. Oh, he is painting now for us to see. Quem sabe faz ao vivo. Oh, he's doing right now for us together to appreciate. Nossa ateliê Santa Teresa. Very good, Mônica. Mônica já deu um apoio aqui, já escreveu lá para o pessoal seguir. Que lindo, nossa. Que lindo, Miss Gorgeous. Amazing. Nice. Então é bem orgânico, né, o seu processo criativo, né, Nelson? Você vai percebendo aquilo que você quer estar tá incluindo e vai trabalhando ali, né? No seu sentimento da hora ali São também. São referências ancestrais, né? Aham. Uh -huh. Então, ela se apresenta assim como a gente se prepara para fazer uma, um chá ou um banho ou uma preparação para qualquer situação atípica no cotidiano, né? Uhum. Ela é orgânica, porque a gente contesta um pouco o que a academia traz como referência de rigidez, né? Uhum. processo. Então, assim, o processo criativo, ele se dá com a memória emocional. So, I will share this, that, vou compartilhar isso que você falou. So, aí está o Nelson... And he's saying about the, his creative process is that it's from, it comes from his intuition with ancestral guidance and references, which are really uh, aff affectionate, emotional. So he doesn't necessarily need to follow the trends and the orthodoxies of the Academy of Fine Arts, for example, uh, of the education in the school and the university and so on, because he follows an intuition that is like, from the primary creative 
uh, beings and way of being created. So before any school or univer art university was created, human beings were already creating art. Não é mesmo, Nelson? Então, você segue mesmo essa, essa, essa guia ancestral. Então, so, então, a moça perguntou, ah, como é que ele sabe onde que ele está botando o vermelho? So, he, he follows this intuition. He looks at that from a perspective and he feels that the red should come here and there and he just goes with his feeling and practice. He practices a lot, he paints a lot and then he delivers this beautiful work that you can see now. Então, as, as pinturas corporais que são feitas é, por diversas, diversas culturas diferentes, né? elas, claro, não passaram pela academia, mas elas são transmitidas por sensações que também são transmitidas ou pela oralidade ou pelo, pela repetição do fazer. É né? um trabalho de manutenção dessa memória do fazer. Uhum. Daí isso aqui é, tem tudo a ver, sim, com observação e prática, né? Teorética. Uhum. Mas é outra escola. Uhum. A, a forma, ela não se conforma. Então, ela briga sempre para ela não ser deformada. Uhum. Então, essa, essa, essa intuição, né? para mim é positiva, ela, ela, ela só é possível porque a gente se observa, porque a gente estuda a dimensão da área que é a mesma matemática, existe afro-matemática. Né? Uhum. É, você precisa de ter uma perspectiva também que seja inteligível, que seja compreensível por outros, como os griots, né? eles falam para outros griots que falam para outras griots. É, isso que você está falando é uma... uma... É, uma, é um legado, né? So we are talking about legacy and like his Afro ancestry and how this new way of, not you, new, actually very, very old way of leading with art. And he talking about very deep philosophical ideas of the creative process that, porque você falou muita coisa, eu não consigo lembrar de tudo para traduzir. Mas é, a essência tá aí, né? Basicamente falei até, trouxe ela, que assim, this uh, memory affectionate memory of the practice, of an ancestral practice that is already inside of the artist and Nelson brings that with his DNA, let's DNA. say, né? Com seu DNA. And he just, with the matter of practice and observation, he will have the feelings of where he needs to go with each uh, act, with each uh, move he makes with his brushes or strokes. And a gente and consegue tirar uh, o pigmento dessas sementes, desses minerais. Né? Amazing. So he creates the pigmentations and he makes some of his paintings as well, making pigments uh, out of seeds and, and uh, colors out of rocks and uh, other materials. Iron, iron as well. Isso é, isso é urucum. Urucum. Ah, urucum. Ah, posso mostrar? Ah, oh, look. This is very important. He's showing here. Vou chegar um pouquinho aqui para fora porque o sinal começa a ficar um pouquinho atrapalhado. So it's not pixelating, right? Because for me, sometimes shows here as just three. I'm afraid of the quality sometimes. So this seed here is urucum, this fruit. And the urucum, it has the seeds of urucum inside, which are these seeds here, inside of this. So this in the indigenous, many indigenous tribes and peoples in Brazil, they use the seeds of urucum, these seeds here, and to paint their bodies and faces, and to, and like this, bisco. So this is a biscus, flower. So he makes uh, paints out of all of these organic matters as well which were used and are used by our ancestral indigenous people. Nelson, muito obrigada. Foi incrível a sua participação. <risos> né? Acho que já instigou e inspirou várias pessoas que estão aqui assistindo, que gostam de arte. And he said, when you come to Brazil, talk to me, talk to Tati, and let's organize a workshop with Nelson so you can make and let's do art together. 
Ah, ela tá lembrando aqui do seu cartão. Ah, sim. We are so passionate about talking and showing our our uh, tour and storytelling that we forgot. Sorry about that. There was the name there that Isabel uh, kindly showed, and you also can take a print of his art studio and Instagram. I don't know. Yeah, it's very common here in Brazil that we are affectionate with each other. We treat each other very well, many of us, especially in neighborhoods such as this, where people are friendly and educated, and we uh, relate very well with each other. Thank you so much, Nelson. Thank you. Uh, deixa eu acertar essa câmera aqui para despedir propriamente. Ela tá um pouquinho torta. Tchau, tchau, viu? Tchau, bom passeio. <laughs> Estão com a melhor energia. Obrigada. Sim. Tchau. Aqui, ó. From his studio. Ok? Nelson Crisóstomo. Uh, he calls it, like, conceptually saying, uh, primitive technologies in painting and dyeing uh, fabrics. The wall behind, take a print, please, is the address. And now... Thank you all for being here present. I hope you liked and appreciated the art that we saw here today. We, uh, as I could show you a little bit of what Santa Teresa is about, is about this. And if you want to share some of your impressions before we close this tour, thank you, Hans from Bavaria. So please feel free to share with one word, how was this experience with you uh, before we close? Ah, yeah, yes. I will cross the street, okay? Because the class, cars are passing by. Nice, interesting, good words. Cool. And there is more art here and there. So that's going to be for other tours to take. Where we will visit other cultural centers. There is a shade right there. Thank you, Beatrice, for your support. Thank you so much. You better go sing the Germans are waiting to dance. <laughs> yeah, every time I come here, if I want to mingle with people, they are very, they will be open for partying. Hey, Jennifer, thank you so much. Here's a nice, uh, let me align the camera here so you can get a nice snapshot of Chrysostomo, Nelson Chrysostomo's tour. Hi, Luz, thank you for your support. Very appreciated, beautiful painting. Also, Crisostomo did that, but with other artist friends from the neighborhood. Much love. See you soon on the following tours. If you like this one, please follow me. You can get one of these buttons there. Thank you, Satan, for also supporting my work. And thank you, everyone, for being present. Come to other Santa Teresa tours with me, with other guys from South America. Grace in Argentina, she's very good at doing that as well. Vanessa in Lima and uh, Sayuri Koshima in Salvador. So, yes. Bye, 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 bye. I'm going to dance with the Germans. <laughs> Tchau!